celebration of Holy Communion. The main purpose of this announcement is to discuss with you our greatest desire, namely the celebration of Holy Communion. After much consultation and reconsidering the lockdown level one regulations for places of worship, I'm extremely happy. And that is the Thanksgiving gift for all of us. I'm extremely happy to announce that as from Sunday, the 11th of October, that's next week, 2020, we will again be celebrating Holy Communion during our divine services. In this tutorial, we provide the protocols which are underpinned by our guiding principles for the celebration of Holy Communion. After the Eucharistic prayer and the invitation to celebrate Holy Communion, the officiant puts on his face mask and sanitizes his hands. Whilst the officiant opens the cup at the altar, designated priestly ministers open the others. The consecration of the wafers is done with both arms extended. The officiant proceeds to serve himself with Holy Communion as demonstrated. After a prayer, the officiant sanitizes again. Before being served with Holy Communion, priestly ministers are to sanitize their hands. By extending the arms fully, a safe distance is maintained between those serving and receiving Holy Communion. The priest ingests the Communion as demonstrated. Thereafter, he sanitizes his hands. Priests should collect their own cup and move to their serving positions while maintaining a distance of 1.5 meters at all times. Sharing of cups is not permitted. All members are to sanitize their hands prior to partaking in Holy Communion. The demarcations to ensure physical distancing should be adhered to. No physical contact between the priest and the member is allowed. If a priest accidentally touches a member's hand, he must stop serving and sanitize his hands before he continues serving. Members are to ingest Holy Communion only once they have returned to their seat. Congregations may consider serving members in their seats provided all protocols are adhered to. Should a communion wafer fall on the floor, a deacon should pick it up, proceed to throw it away and sanitize his hands afterwards. Take note, the priest should not pick it up. At the conclusion of Holy Communion, each priest returns and closes his own cup. Thereafter, he sanitizes his hands. The officiant then proceeds to close the two cups on the altar once all congregants have been served and the organ stops playing. He sanitizes his hands as demonstrated. He may now remove his face mask and proceed to close the divine service with a prayer.